evening everyone thanks for stopping by and joining me here today i hope you've all had a lovely day today and um, it's been snowing here on and off um i'm glad to see it hasn't really layer though so that's a good thing anyway if um if you're new to the channel my name's elaine and as you might have guessed by the video um it's this video is a, a diy video basically it's a renovation video so i'll just give a brief explanation of where we're at so my daughter her fiance and has just had a baby and uh, they've just bought a house now the house needs a lot of work to into it so to save them money because there are in your just a young couple starting out on their own and um, so to, to help them along we thought we'd do a lot of the work for them you know um, just to save them money you know uh, it's bad enough getting on the property ladder these days for the young ones never mind having a house that needs a full renovation so we decided um, that we were going to help out and um, based on we've done work in the past on this house uh, we've done um, We've done a, a two-storey extension on the on the side of the house. We've also done a loft conversion. We've done fair, like central heating, and um, I'm trying to think what else we've done. We've done this conservatory roof. I'll link the video. Um, if you're here for like sort of DIY, I'll link the video to when we did this conservatory roof because it's like i've got no heat on in here, and I'm able to sit in this room now and and be fine. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm sitting here with a hat and a gelia on, it's because I've just come back from the house, you know, the, the house that we're renovating. And um, I've just had a cup and I thought I'll sit down and do the video. But it's, as I say, it's not because it's cold in here, it is quite warm in here. So um, it's a really good good video if you're thinking about um you know doing your conservatory you know um to, to to get to make it more usable so it's not so hot in the summer and it's warmer in the winter so again i'll link that video in the description box down below um so yes this this house it needs everything doing with it needs um you know a full electric rewire and needs a new central heating system and boiler you know even the bare bones the, the only thing that's like there on it is the the structure you know the brickwork um it's just had a new roof put on as well we actually didn't do the roof we did get a company in to do the roof david is scared of heights a lot he has done um a, a mono pitch roof for me in the past uh, so yeah we've started work on the house but before we can like actually do things we're having to like take things out you know we're having to sort of <laughs> we're like demolition guys <laughs> me and emma yay <laughs> but um you know we're, we've enjoyed we're enjoying doing it um it's going to be lovely when it's finished we'll call it the house of horrors but uh because every time we find you know every time we move something or pull something out we'll find another problem there's like loads of problems that we've uncovered which you will see you know in in the video that's you know if you keep watching yeah it's going to be a labour of love <laughs> but it's going to be perfect you know it's going to go from the house of horrors to the you know house of dreams or at least emma's and jamie's dreams and anywhere by the time it's finished yeah so we're, we're taking on the renovations as like diys you know not skilled trades people at all in today's climate it's great if you can you know do things yourself and save some money as well and uh, that money that Emma and Jamie will save can go on like their furniture you know because they haven't got any of that yet Um. so yes so yes I hope you enjoy the video guys oh and this is part um one in a series of the renovations so I hope you you know come on the journey with us I hope um you know you stick through i don't know how many parts it's going to be guys um I'm, I'm guessing quite a few but um you know we'll do it stage by stage and we'll also show like how we do it as well not just like we've done it but how we do it as well <laughs>
<gülüyor> Neyin ipe değişti? Kayık. Clean his pets up. And then get this under the arm up as well. screwed this on and I do believe it's a rock <laughs> so they've screwed this to it and then look at this <laughs> what what on earth why <laughs> oh and look up here oh. I'm taking these out because there's no way you could put any weight on these supports like support yeah if you come closer I will show you you know how bad badly they've been installed I mean you can see this one's onto the architrave here and I'm actually moving that you know very easily this one as well you can see it's come it's practically coming out the wall plug there so you know this it's going to have to be all renewed you know um this will be a cupboard you know when the boiler's gone it'll be maybe it's a walk-in um cupboard uh for storage so i'm just going to take this one out and just like that if you're wondering about my diy um kind of thing. I, I have mentioned that I do DIY on the channel. Um, I originally set up the channel. Sorry, I'll take this mask off. Um, actually, I'll take the mask off and we'll go out there. And yes, speak. as I was saying, um, I originally started the channel because um, I was doing some renovations in my house at the time and um, I, we were having an extension built and a loft conversion. We were doing the work ourselves you know, including sort of the foundations and everything, you know, um, and yeah, it, we just, I just got really kind of handy, you know, with a drill and with a hammer and um, yeah, I just quite like DIY, so um, you're going to see quite a lot of DIY on the channel, you know, with this house 
Um, but yes, if you were wondering about my DIY and stuff, um, it's just through watching people do things. My dad, when I was younger, and David as well, you know, and um, and and like just learning. But uh, yeah, I'm handy with the drill. <laughs> We've taken all of the carpet up, we've taken the underlay up. I look quite menacing with one of these, but I promise you it's to do work. Um, so we've got the underlay up. I don't know if you want to show them up. And I'm just going to take these rubber rods up from around the edge. I'm taking any staples and any nails out as well. Yeah, so let's, let's get the rest of this up. You know what guys, I'm going to try and get this mirror off now with the help of Emma. <laughs> so Emma, I don't know if you want to put the camera down and like put it over there and we'll tackle getting this off. Okay. Hopefully without breaking it because we don't want seven years bad luck. painted over but we did manage to get them out so I'm just going to try and get these wall plugs out um, and usually this works now what you won't work this time Emma usually if you throw it in a bit and then get a hammer a claw hammer and then just pull it out Yes, half the plaster's come away with it. <laughs> but it is getting plastered in any way. 
<laughs> and this horrifying. <laughs> Did you know that was going to happen? Probably, yeah. Okay. Bit tedious, but you can't get them out unless you do it like this. Usually, you just have that happens. <laughs> you know what? The past is probably so old on here. Um, you know, where's that wild plug going? Because it's got a screw in. Right, so. Screw it in a little. And. Pull it out. And. Got a bit of wild plug stuck on the, the screw. Just do that to get that off. Last one. You don't need to screw it all the way in because you just you just try to grip that wall plug, not try not opening it out. This is all gonna have to be filled. Well are you getting really plastered, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, to get the wall plug out, I've just reversed the drill. So we're left with a lot of wall plugs and we know how to get those out, which means the tiles might possibly crack. Um, unfortunately. But I don't think these tiles are staying, are they? Probably not. Mm. I've bruised my finger. <laughs> I think we'll just leave the walls because we'll take the tiles off in anywhere. So um they'll come out at that point. So um yes, we'll take this towel wheel off though because we really don't need this on. Oh, so long.
wrong. So we're in the kitchen and we're taking the doors off the units here. Um, it's because we're, we're taking these out. Um, we do need to strip the tiles off but I haven't got goggles, proper like protective wear so I'm not going to do that today. I just, these cupboards are off the walls now. I just need to loosen these brackets off so I'll need to go up there Emma before we take these units out because I need to stand on these units to get up there. <laughs> Um, this side I need to get a pair of ladders so I can unscrew them because I'm a little bit too short to reach unless I stand on one of the units what we've just pulled out and there's the units here this is the back garden we have no idea what this is but this is the back garden it's an absolute mess guys that's it there. It is a atrocious mess. It's, yeah, really bad. We've got like things like this to sort out, you know. Um, yeah, there's actually a door there. And I shall take you in there, but I'll take you in the front way because there's two wheels into this bit at the side and you will not, not believe what you see. <laughs> I think we've kept, would you say we've kept the best to last with the, with the glory, we, we're calling it the glory hall. <laughs> One of my viewers actually came up with that, um, said a mum used to call this the cupboard a glory hall and uh, it's kind of stuck and I think I remember my mum calling some like a cupboard a glory hall as well. Um, it might be like a, 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 a popular saying, I don't know, but uh, this is the, gl this is just the glory hall, isn't it Emma? Yes, really. <laughs> It's very, very strange. And um, I'll take you out there uh, and show you that. But um, in the meantime, we're going to strip these cupboards out here. You can actually see how filthy the cupboards are. You know, with, with the doors off, how uh, really, really bad they are. I mean, you just could never, never keep this. There's not any amount of um, cleaning products would, you know, help this, I don't think. <laughs> and these sockets are like ancient, aren't they? They're so, so old. Hi, Emma. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we're going to get these brackets off up here. And then, once we get these off, Emma, yeah. I think if we then pull this out, like we'll dismantle this. So my mum's found a way to get up to the brackets. She's made herself a little step with one of the um what is it a shelf? Cupboard, yeah. You used a cupboard. Oh, she's used a cupboard. I should not be being sent. Nah. Who needs a ladder or a step ladder? Yeah. <laughs> 
I hope this is safe. <laughs> Oh, the last one's going to be a pain, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it is, because it looks like it's just... Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. That's just pulled out, isn't it? Mm. So they weren't securely fastened on in any way. I'm honestly not surprised. On our little step there. <laughs> it works though, it's working. You know, if you haven't got the um, the right equipment, it's 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 um, yeah, it's working. I don't know if that is, I can't see properly. That's it. Yeah. I think cupboards on this wall is a good idea. Yeah. Because there's not much of a kitchen on that end. So putting cupboards here would be beneficial. Yeah, just higher up. Just higher up, yeah. And then you can have Mary's a diamond table here. You know, so you've still got a little bit of storage. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to off there, maybe keep like occasional stuff up here, what you wouldn't normally use that much. I'm not sure. Sure. like um, glasses. I'm, I was just about to say, I'm glasses. not sure if this kitchen it's will be in, big enough for all my glasses. It's an inch walk, guys. Emma will explain. Emma, you explain. Oh, oh she's shy. <laughs> she's shy. She's got her own YouTube channel, guys. Um, yes, yeah, so. Emma has bought loads and loads of glasses and then Jamie's like, she, she basically buys them now and Jamie's like, please, no more glasses, no more glasses. And um, yeah, she's just got a thing with glasses, haven't you? Well, it, it was a nice one. He was like, no, don't get it. And then me and you went yeah. back for it when he wasn't G there. Jamie said to I'll Emma, to don't get the glasses. No, no, we yeah. don't need any more. So we sneaked back to the shop and bought them. <laughs> Yeah, it's not yet. You just I don't know, know yet. No, I'm just oh. going to pretend they were a gift from you. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, oh, my mum got them. Yeah, how's what I'm gift or something. <laughs> I think you'll see through it though. Yeah, he probably will, but he'd be fine if I would look, guys. And um, yeah, I'm just going to take this last bracket down. And uh, yes, tackle the cupboard over there. And um, get that one out and uh, we'll point to the one we were that talking one. about. And then we'll dismantle the sink cupboards. Yeah. And then we'll pull the flooring up after that. We're hoping to get all this done today, here, guys. Um, and hopefully pull the stair. Oh, have we got to pull the stair carpet up? Well, um, David was saying everywhere that has radiators. Needs the carpet, yeah. But yeah. isn't there two going there? Like, yes, yeah. but we need to pull the stair carpet as well then. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it needs to come up in any way. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can leave the venison. Can't fall in this, but um, yeah, we need to be under it for packs. Yeah, so probably that as well. Yeah, then. for the central heating. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's moving. Pick it up, Emma. <laughs> okay. So we just. We've just um, I've just been trying to remove this bench so I can get the cupboards off, and it's I've just took one screw out. I'm sorry, two screws from underneath, and the whole thing, as um, as you can see, is moved. Like it's literally not even fastened to the wall, guys. It's not even being screwed down or anything. Wow, honestly, I don't know who fitted this kitchen, but in all fairness, um. It's it's kind of within keeping of the rest of the house, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's not even fastened to the wall. There's absolutely no screws in it, nothing at all. 
it's just literally been sitting there uh, yeah wow <laughs> Move now. Yay! <laughs> you've enjoyed the video in part one if like the renovations you know I know a lot of it was just demolition at the minute and, and stripping things back but you've got to strip it back to see what needs to be done like and reveal sort of a blank canvas um so yeah I'm looking forward to the fun parts of where we're actually putting things in you know and um yeah it'd be lovely when it gets up to that stage where we're you know fitting carpets and, and even wallpapering and painting and things like that because we will get there guys we will get there but um it's just all of these other jobs that needs doing first like the i think it's the hard work this is like the hard work um and the decorating i think it's the fun part yes i hope you enjoy us on this like little um, renovation series and uh, I'm looking to upload it on a Friday every Friday and uh, hopefully you'll see like the progress you know each week so guys um yeah thanks for for joining me today and um, yeah I hope you all have a lovely weekend guys whatever you're doing and um stay safe and I shall see you next time bye